Four star recruit Chris Cenac. Chris Cenac. Chris Cenac Jr. It's Chris Cenac Jr. One of the top 30 players in the junior class. He's one that's going to come up the rankings a little bit. You know, we've seen him this year a couple times. Uh, you know, I think he's kind of grown from a motor perspective. He's also put on some muscle. In the last year, he looks different physically. Uh, you know, he projects as a guy that can get his own shot to. He scores from all three levels. Newman taking on John Curtis, all first quarter action. Four-star recruit Chris Cenac. You can see why he is a four-star recruit. Chris Mack Jr. I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. So tell us how your basketball journey started. I mean, like, it started when I was a kid, honestly. Like, I always played basketball. I was always the tallest kid in my class. So, like, it was just meant for me to play basketball. And, like, my parents played when they was in high school. So it kind of just, like, came on to me when I was a kid. So, but honestly, it didn't really start. I didn't really start taking it serious until like freshman year, like after COVID. And then I was at Riverside Academy uh, with Coach Donovan, shout out to him. Like he was the one that really like pushed me and he seen a vision in me and just stayed in the gym with me. And that's how I kind of developed from being a chubby, tall kid to slimmering down and like becoming who I am now, honestly. So I know we had to go get a bucket and get fouled to slow the game. Down.
Three stops in a row. Yeah, now I get one. I went down and set the screen on my teammate to get him open for the three. And at this point, I knew I had to go get a bucket. Most of the game, I was getting double teamed, so it was hard for me to score. So this was more of a defensive game for me. Newman, they're gonna go away here with a big 71-52 win here. But Country Day and the Cajuns will have made them work for it towards the end. And that's how this one's gonna end with Newman claiming the District 10-2A championship for another year with a 71-52 victory over the Country Day Cajuns here to close out the regular season. We ended up winning by 20. It wasn't the best game for me, but I did show up on the defense end. Me getting double team on the offensive side just opened up for my teammates to score easily and us to get the win. Games like this, we just put behind us and we can move on to the next. Hi, so I'm Jeanne Garner. I'm the founder of Recoup 360, which is a sports rehab place for athletes. Here we make sure that we work on uh, mobility, which is ankle and hips, especially for basketball players, that's the most important. Um, and then we go to ankle stability because he's a very explosive player. So we want to make sure when he comes down from his dunks that he's able to do that without any injury. Uh, we also go into muscle flexibility, right, because we want him to be uh, flexible when he's able to go up and down the court, but also, which is really important, recovery, right? So this includes different therapies such as like cupping, grass and massage therapy that we do to help loosen up his muscles so that he can play to the best of his ability. Just trying to increase your range of motion right here. Got some tight quads. <laughs> I wanted to point out real quickly that LeBron talks about he spends on his body and when do we ever see LeBron hurt? You know, so our goal as his team is to get him to the next level and that's what happens. We want to make sure that he's taking care of his body at all times and that's when we come in. Is that right? Oh, man. <laughs> This is uh, Coach James Parlow, Fast Basketball Academy, out here in Slidell, Louisiana. Um, I met Chris as a freshman um, a couple years ago. No one really knew who he was. Um, I thought he was in the wrong position. He played the big man. Um, we put the work in with Chris um, within seven months. Uh, after his freshman season, he played summer ball. Chris was able to ex expand his game to a full-time four, sometimes three, um, where he could play on the perimeter, play inside and out. 
defend from the one to the four. So Chris is now a hybrid basketball player who's developing his game to be a full-time three um, as, as a 6'10 guy. Um, so we, we're studying um, certain players, especially NBA guys, that we can mimic some of the things that they do well, um, especially defend like, like guys like uh, Herb Jones um, for the Pelicans. We, we want to uh, show that part of our game as well as show the overall ball handling shooting.
So I could say going from my freshman year to my sophomore year was kind of a big transition for me because I transferred schools from Riverside to Newman. And that transition was, it was hard because like sophomore year being ineligible due to uh, LHSA rules, which honestly was not right. Like I should have been playing that year, but I feel like everything happens for a reason. So I'm just taking move on. But I feel like that was, that was really what made me more confident, more like just want to take it more serious, honestly, because not being able to play that year and having so much love for the game, like that just pushed me going into my sophomore summer, summer of my sophomore year, going into my junior year on the EYBL circuit with LeVon. That just pushed me to like just play hard and get my name out there and do what I had to do to like, you know, shoot up on the rankings and get off of So that just, that really pushed me to do that. And I could say all that built up emotions, like made me where I am right now, honestly, because not playing a game that you love to really like do something to you, sitting on the sidelines, watching all your teammates play when you really want to be out there, like that kind of hurt a little bit. So yeah, so going from my sophomore, going to my junior year summer, uh, did what I had to do in EYBL circuit. Honestly, it could have been better, but I feel like I did and I performed good enough to go on the rankings like I did and get <laughs> get offers like I did. So yeah, start up my junior junior year, uh, high school year, which I am in now. Um, at Newman, I can say, I mean, this this was honestly like my first, my first like real like like real high school high school season, cause like freshman year, like yeah, it counted, but I feel like like the teams we were playing wasn't really no competition. Honestly, I was still in the development stage. I took that year as like just developing and getting better because my eighth grade year, like, I was a little tubby guy, like, so yeah, going into my junior year, um, we're playing on a national schedule, and I can say, like, it's been, it's been a lot of adversity uh, this season so far with just, like, us having a lot of good players on the team, so everyone wants the ball, like, things like our coach, our coach getting suspended for the season for, uh, the LHSA thinking that he was recruiting, like, things, it was just so much adversity that we had to fight through, and right now we're just aiming for that state championship, and I feel like, like, we're just aiming for that state championship, and we're going, we're coming for it for sure, we're coming for it for sure.